everybody. My name is Anna and our today's topic is immune system. It is a very com complex one and that is why I, I looked for a real specialist in this field and very happy that Dr. Um, Volker Schmidl could join me for this interview. Thank you for coming. Hello Anna. So Volker, can you tell us some words about you? I'm a medical doctor. Um, uh, I had my, my examination nearly 40 years ago and during the last seven years I've been working in Paramil, in Bar, which is a holistic ambulance. So, everybody is talking about their immune system. But what is it actually? Do we have that immune system or there are some different ones? Well, I think our human immune system is one of the complicated things in the universe. So let me quote the famous physicist Sir Isaac Newton, who once said, what we know is a drop, what we don't know is an ocean. I think this is a really nice picture concerning the immune system. We have, we have not one immune system. We have different kinds of immune system. So for example, we have a cellular immune system. So T cells are natural killer cells, a really nice word, isn't it? Natural killer cells, we are killing the bacteria, um, is a part of the cellular immune system. On the other hand, we have a so-called humoral immune system. Everybody has heard of the antibodies. Um, after an infection or a vaccination, we can build our own antibodies against viruses or bacteria. And these antibodies are called a humoral immune system. And we have a, an unspecific immune system. For example, the, the macrophages, which also is a nice word, macrophages, so the big eaters, they are eating everything which is strange, yeah? particles, bacteria, viruses, macrophages, part of unspecific immune system. And we have the, the specific immune system. For example, if you have had measles, your, your immune system will produce cells um, which are building the antibodies against measles. And this is specific only against measles and uh, not against uh, corona or other viruses. So now in spring, a lot of people get sick. Volker, is it normal? Unfortunately, it is normal but not optimal to get more infections at the end of the winter or the begin, uh, beginning of the spring just because our vitamin D level are lowest during that time. And as we mentioned in the, in the video before about vitamin D, um, we can see vitamin D is the most important factor for our immune system. Um, so if we want to be protected during the winter or the end of winter and beginning of spring, we should have optimal vitamin D levels all the time, all the year. A lot of people claim to eat healthy food but still get cold. Can it be so that nowadays it is not enough? Is healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, um, most people think that when they are eating fruits with vitamin C, they have enough. Um, but the dosage of vitamin C is, is not such high in most of the foods we, we eat. For example, if you're eating one lemon, you have about 50 milligrams of vitamin C. But for our immune system, we need at least one gram each day. So you have to eat 20 lemons each day. The other thing is not only material, but also, yeah, let me say, constitutional. Um, from the Indian and from the Chinese medicine, we, um, we have the knowledge that some food is more cold and some food is more warm. For example, oranges. What we think they are very good against cold or for protection against cold, um, they are from their character cold and they are not so good to eat in the winter. 
And they have a lot of sugar. Yes, that's true. Fructose, which is more or less. Yeah. <laughs> so, which are the key supplements uh, which you highly recommend and why? The most important nutrient for our immune system is the vitamin D. Well, we had one video before and uh, we, we talked a lot of, uh, about the, the vitamin D. So I only want to mention the dosage we need. We need. Um, most official institutions say um, we need about 1,000 units each day. 800 to 1,000 is enough. Well, that's enough for a small child but not for an adult. The normal adult needs 5,000 units each day for the immune system. But if it's summer uh, and, and you, you have a sunbath, um, you will get these 5,000, but if it's cloudy or in the winter, you need to substitute such an amount of vitamin D. Next is vitamin C. Uh, I think everyone in the population knows that vitamin C is very good against infections, but we need a high dosage, uh, about one or two grams each day. Um, for example, the leukocytes, leukocytes special, um, special blood cells, they are very important for our immune system, have the highest concentration of vitamin C of all cells of our body. So they need vitamin C especially. Next vitamin is vitamin A. I, I always say it's a forgotten vitamin. Um, every, everyone knows that vitamin D and vitamin K is very important working together, but only a few people know that vitamin A is a very good partner just in the immune system. So don't forget the vitamin A and we need 3,000 units each day. Furthermore, we have some um, trace minerals that are very important. For example, zinc. We need about 15 milligram each day. And selenium. We need what, 50 to 100, in special cases, maybe 200 micro microgram each day. And last of all, but also very important, are the omega-3 fatty acids and we will have another video where we talk uh, very carefully about, uh, about omega-3 fatty acids. How do I know um, what is the right dosage of the supplements which I take? In the last answer I gave you some dosages um, which might help most of the people. But now I want to say the optimal dosage is that dosage with which you get the optimal level. And that could be 2000 unit vitamin D for someone who is weighing 50 or 60 kilograms and maybe 10,000 units if you are weighing 100 kilograms or more. Um, someone has a normal zinc level without any substitution, so maybe he needs no additional zinc and, and some have a really deficit and he needs 15 or, or even 30 milligram. So the best way to get the right dosage for the right level is to measure it. I always measure the nutrients in my patients where I want to have the optimal level because they have a lot of infections or because they have autoimmunopathies or they have cancer. Then I want to have, I want to really know the right levels. And that is for vitamin D, 40 to 60 nanograms per milliliter or 100 to 150 nanomole per liter. Syncom is about 10 to 20 uh, milligram per liter. Selenium is about 150 to 200 microgram per liter. And that's not the level in the, in the normal laboratory itself. They have a much lower level. But 150 to 200 is the optimal level. And omega-3 fatty acids I want to have in so-called omega-3 fatty index 
that's the sum of two important fatty acids, the EPA and the DHA, and this index has to be about 8 to 11 percent. I don't measure vitamin A and vitamin C, I, I just give it. So with 3000 units each day from vitamin A and one or two grams from vitamin C, or if you have an acute infection, you, you can increase the dosage to 5 or even 10 grams, you will never make a mistake. So, Volker, thank you so much for coming uh, for this interview. And we have one more interview to come about omega-3. It will be very interesting. So, stay tuned.